Now, in the oven, I've got two identical apple pies. But one of them has been cooked on a metal plate and the other one on a glass plate. Let's see what the difference is. Still warm, of course. We'll turn this one over and prise the glass plate off. Ooh, the bottom's obviously rather soggy. Let's have a look at the metal one. Oh, much further. Now, the reason for that is that the heat was able to cook the bottom of the apple pie on the metal plate because it was able to travel through the metal faster than it was able to travel through the glass. Now, not everyone will have a pop-up toaster, but most people will have a grill, either an electric one or a gas one. Let's put some cheese on toast into this electric one. Now, the heat from the element will cook the cheese and the toast underneath. Now, it won't be carried by air currents because this heat is going down, and we know that air currents rise. What is happening is heat rays pass from the element down to the cheese and the bread. And as you can see already, it gets very hot there. The cheese is starting to bubble, and the bread is going brown. But this sort of heat stops at the surface of the cheese. If I poke the cheese up with this palette knife, you can see that underneath, the heat has hardly reached the bread at all. Clearly, heat like this passes very slowly through cheese, just as it passes slowly through meat. In the microwave oven, though, a different kind of ray, a microwave, is transmitted down to the cheese and the bread. But this ray doesn't stop at the surface. It passes all the way through, and it cooks very quickly indeed. Timer set for 10 seconds. Away we go. And there it is, cooking already bubbling away merrily. It's stopped. Let's have a look at it. And there it is, completely cooked, as you can see, but it hasn't gone brown. And even if we left it there all week, it never would, unlike our other cheese on toast, cooked conventionally, which has gone nice and brown. Now, the microwave oven is a comparatively recent development, but this is a cooker that never gets hot. Now, to demonstrate it, I need a block of ice, switch it on, something to rest my pan on, and the frying pan itself. Now, you would imagine that a frying pan sitting on top of a block of ice would be cold. Watch this. Frying an egg on top of a block of ice. Now, the way it works is underneath is an electromagnet. The frying pan is made out of steel, which is a magnetic material. When the steel is put on top of the electromagnet, it heats up. It's a very safe system because if I move the pan away, the top of the cooker is totally cold. It never heats up. Could be something that you'll see quite a lot of in the future. And that's all from us for today. Goodbye.